Whether you're a serious coin collector or not, you've at least probably heard of the buffalo nickel. In fact, you probably even own one or two. Maybe grandma or grandpa gave you one when you were a kid, or maybe you've been lucky enough to get one back in your change. I mean, for me, one of my earliest childhood memories is actually finding a buffalo nickel on the playground floor of my old preschool. But regardless of whether you want to just expand your numismatic knowledge, or you just want to find out brass tacks what that buffalo nickel that you've been holding on to since your bar mitzvah is actually worth, well, this video is for you. And definitely stay tuned till the end of the video, because I'm going to show you a buffalo nickel that sold for more than a quarter of a million dollars. Who knows? Maybe you've got one too. NGC is the sponsor of the Silver Picker YouTube channel. And Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you both for your support. So this is the famed Buffalo Nickel. And while it was only produced for 25 years between 1913 and 1938, it has become one of the single most iconic coins in all of American numismatics. And I think that's because the designer wanted to make a coin with strictly American themes so that it could never be confused for a coin from another country. And I think he did an amazing job. I mean, look at the obverse with the beautiful regal image of a Native American man and the reverse with a classic American bison or buffalo. But when it comes to collecting buffalo nickels, the first thing you need to learn is that there are actually two different types. Type 1 and Type 2. Type 1 refers to the coins produced in the first year in 1913, and if you look at the reverse of the coin, you'll see that the buffalo is standing atop a mound with the word 5 cents underneath it. Well, after they produced it, they realized that it was causing the dyes that produced the coins to wear out really quickly. So they amended the design to have the buffalo standing on flat ground. Well, it turned out that that didn't really solve the problem, but they continued with that Type 2 design all the way through 1938 when the coin was phased out. Because of that poor design, you'll find a lot of buffalo nickels where the date has worn out and you can't tell what year it's from. Those are usually only worth about 50 cents, and there is a way to reveal the date by using a special type of acid, and I made a video on that which you can check out in the card over here or in the description box below. But if you find any common date buffalo nickel with a date on it, it's probably going to be worth about a dollar or two at best. But as you get better and better condition, remember, when it comes to coin collecting, condition is king, the coins can become worth astronomical values. But aside from the buffalo nickels that are in spectacular condition, which buffalo nickels are actually worth the big bucks? I mean, come on, that's really why you guys are here, am I right? Well, there are two main categories of buffalo nickels that are worth a ton of money, and those are key dates and varieties. Key dates refer to the years in which the coins were produced in the lowest quantities, making them the rarest and hardest for collectors to get to finish their collections. And that means they're also going to be worth the most. Varieties, on the other hand, refer to coins that have slight aberrations in their design due to the variances between dyes that are used to produce the coins during the manufacturing process. Now, it's important to understand that these variations have to do with specific imperfections in the dyes used to create the coins. If it's a one-off, then it's just an error coin. And if that error occurs after the production process, then it's considered post-mint damage, meaning it is just a damaged coin that is typically worthless. That said, later in the video I'm going to tell you how there is one type of damaged coin that is actually worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, so stay tuned. So let's start off with the key dates. Right off the bat, if you find any buffalo nickel with these dates, you are in the money. We're talking about the 1913S Type 2, the 1921S, the 1924S, and the 1926S. If you find these in any condition, they're going to be worth a bunch of money. And obviously, the better the condition, the more they're going to be worth. For example, this is a 1926S Buffalo Nickel that was graded by PCGS in just VF35 condition. I mean, not great condition. You can see it's pretty worn and it's definitely been in circulation. But it's still sold for $500 on eBay. Not bad for a nickel. But this Buffalo Nickel, also a 1926S, graded by NGC at an M. MS66, which is the highest known grade, and it sold for a whopping $115,000. I'm serious. Check your nickels, people. Next, we're going to talk about varieties, which are worth even more than the key dates in most cases. But first, I want to talk to you about Whatnot. If you don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is an incredible live video auction app in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of really cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly into coins and precious metals, but they've got everything. Basically, if you collect it, they've got it. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash 
slash invite slash silver picker to download the app, you get $15 in whatnot credit added to your account automatically to spend on anything you want, whether at one of my auctions or someone else's. And I always have silver coins in the buy it now for $15. So you are all but guaranteed to get a free silver coin just for using my download link. Go right now, download the app, use my link, and boom, right in a way you can buy yourself a $15 Walking Liberty half dollar free of charge. Now, if you have a coin collection or you have any kind of collectibles that you wanna sell, well, Whatnot has now opened up the floodgates and anyone can apply to be a seller. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash seller slash silver picker, whew, a mouthful, but it's on the screen, you can get matched $150 of your first sale. So if you sell $20 worth of collectibles, they'll give you an extra $20 on top. If you sell $150, you will walk away with $300. You cannot beat that. So check out Whatnot, you will not regret it. So we just looked at a single key date in two different conditions and we saw the wild difference in values. Now if you have a key date buffalo nickel and you want to know what it's worth, well I made an in-depth video on how to value, well, any coin and you can check it out in the card over here or in the description box below and that really goes in-depth and gives you all the tools you need to learn how to value your coins. Now let's move on to varieties. While there are a ton of different minor varieties that are worth varying amounts of money, we're gonna be looking at the four major varieties that are frankly worth a <laughs> ton. So the four varieties to look out for are the 1916 double die obverse, the 1918 over 1917D over date, the famous 1937D three-legged buffalo, and the not so famous 1936D three and a half-legged buffalo. So let's take a look at each one of these varieties and see what it's worth. Now remember, I'm gonna be showing you the best conditioned versions that are worth the absolute most. So if you have one, but it looks like it was run over by a truck or lost a fight with a blender, well, it's still gonna be worth money, but not as much. This is the 1916 Double Die Obverse, and whether you're a seasoned numismatist or this is your first video ever into the world of numismatics, you can tell clear as day how dramatic the doubling is on that year. And this one was graded by NGC at MS64, so an incredibly high grade, and that's why it sold for an insane crazy $195,000. So let's skip ahead to the one you guys all wanna know about, which is the famous 1937D three-legged buffalo. First off, how did that come about? Well, it's really simple. Basically, one of the workers at the Mint was polishing the dies and making some corrections and accidentally ended up polishing away that buffalo's third leg. I mean, come on, look at it. This buffalo would have some trouble standing up. But for all that trouble, this coin sold for an insane $85,000. Now, I don't know how they do the math, but if this three-legged buffalo sold for $85,000, well, then the 1936D three-and-a-half-legged buffalo should sell for... I don't know what the math does, but this one sold for a record $20,000. Not too shabby. Now, the most expensive buffalo nickel variety is this 1918 over 1917 overdate. Now, what does that mean? Basically, they had a 1917 buffalo nickel, and for whatever reason, maybe it was production quotas, who knows, they ended up using that same coin and repunching the date to make it in 1918. So you have the number eight over the number seven. And this spectacular example sold for $264,500. More than a quarter of a million dollars for a nickel. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that damaged coins, whether they're buffalo nickels or anything else, usually lose a lot of their value. But I said that there's one type of damaged buffalo nickel that's actually worth quite a bit. Now, I may have been a little bit misleading because it's only technically damaged. I personally, and many others, would consider it art. And of course, I am talking about Hobo nickels. Hobo nickels are artistically altered nickels that traditionally hobos back in the early 1900s would carve into beautiful art pieces. Some of them were really basic and crude, and others were legitimate pieces of art like these ones. People still make hobo nickels even to this day, but modern examples usually only sell for 20, 30, 40, or maybe even $50. But some of the old vintage ones can sell for hundreds. This one, for example, sold for $860 on eBay just recently. 
And this one by artist Burt Weigand, who's actually credited as creating the entire buffalo nickel genre, sold for over $5,000. So we've really covered all the main topics when it comes to collecting buffalo nickels. We talked about common dates, key dates, varieties, we even touched on errors, and we even talked about hobo nickels. But one thing we didn't talk about is what do you actually do if you discover that you have one of these things? Well, you're in luck because you have me. If you think you have a buffalo nickel worth some real money, message me on Instagram at silverpicker. Send me a picture and I am more than happy to tell you what you have and if it is really valuable to help you go through the process of grading it with NGC and then bring it to market and maximizing your profits. So anyway, I had a great time talking about buffalo nickels today and if you have any questions that I didn't answer in the video, put it in the comments below because I guarantee you other people are gonna have that same question. We can all learn a lot by sharing questions and answers. So anyway, if you like this video, I'd encourage you to hit the thumbs up button and of course, hit that big old red subscribe button. I make videos like this every single week so you don't wanna miss a thing. I got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. If you're not yet a patron and wanna become one, the links are below and I can't wait to meet you in our private Discord server.